Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you guys and show you how to set up your fingerprint reading process on the Galaxy S6, as well as a few tips and tricks. <laughs> The number you have dialed is not in service at this time. So the first thing you'll do is once you get into your cell phone, you're going to pull down the notifications bar and click on the settings icon on the top right. This is where you go into the lock screen and security options. If you don't see it up here with the quick settings, then scroll on down and find it. Once you click in there, it'll actually be default as swipe. So what you'll actually do is go into the lock screen type and let's choose on the fingerprint option. So this is where it asks you to place your thumb or finger onto the fingerprint reader. So most people, they'll actually touch it, touch it again, and go all the way around. And so what you can do is you can actually go into all the different areas of the thumb. But as you guys can see here, it's not working every single time I touch it. Um, one of the things I do mention in terms of a tip is holding the phone like you always do and then placing your thumb on it and do it several different times up and down with that. And then what you'd be able to do is spin the phone a little bit so you can get all the different angles of your thumb. So this is where you do at least six characters with one letter and one number minimum. Once you have that set up, this is where you can select to display options for notifications for the lock screen. So you can either hide the content, show it, or you can do the do not show notifications. So I'm going to just have mine as show content for now. And this is where you have the option for the fingerprint. Now on the bottom down here, this is where it says security. So if you go to fingerprint, this is where you'd be able to add in another fingerprint. Now you see how fast that opened up? That's because I only had one fingerprint that was assigned to the phone. Once you have your second one on there, it'll add just a little bit more time. But once you get to the third and fourth, this will take a little while to unlock just because it's scanning more and more fingerprints. So the first thing I would probably say here is to have fingerprint one and get it renamed to what you just did. So this is the right thumb. Now let's go into the left thumb. In this one right here, I'm actually going to show you guys a tip and the trick of the day in terms of the fingerprint. So instead of rotating your thumb around, all you have to do is rotate the phone. So then this way, what will happen is that any area or any time that you're unlocking your phone, even upside down, you're able to get it unlocked. And you can tell that this process is actually much quicker than the other one. The other thing you could do is set it on down onto a table and then place your thumb on the fingerprint reading. So then this way, if it is sitting on a table, then you'd be able to have it unlocked as well. We all have those days where we set it up on the table and we're not able to get it unlocked. Well, this is how you'd be able to do it, as well as unlocking it upside down. Let's go into fingerprint two and put this as the left thumb. Now with the right thumb that I did earlier, let's say that you do not want this to be on there anymore. Just press and hold and go to the remove. And now you just got rid of the right thumb. And now I'm just going to add it right back in there for my normal day to day use. So one of the things that will probably be added on later on is down here where it is in reference of Samsung Pay. Now the cool thing about this cell phone here is that it uses NFC along with MST, which is the MagStrip technology that's built into debit cards and credit cards. So the Samsung Pay will work at 90% merchants. And then when you compare that to either Google Wallet as well as Apple Pay at the moment in time of April of 2015, those two are only worked at 10% of merchants. So the Samsung Pay is definitely best in class. So if you guys have any questions in terms of the fingerprint reading process, make sure you guys ask them below. Make sure you guys hit on like and subscribe and add me on Twitter at Jimmy's Promo if you guys have any other questions or ideas for other videos.